Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first video I'm posting on this channel. Um, so if you're into computers, budget hardware, you know, stick around because I'll be posting a lot of content like that. Um, so today's video, being my first video, it didn't really go as planned. It was a bit of a mess to be honest because the hardware I was using had other ideas. But anyways, um, the processor that I wanted to look at today was uh, it was an old Pentium 4 that I had. Uh, to be specific, it was the Pentium 4 660HT. And the HT obviously stands for hyper-threading. Now, yes, even though it is hyper-threaded, this processor only had, it only had one core. So if you take a look at the Intel spec sheet on the website, you can see the processor was released in the first quarter of 2005, which makes it well over 10 years old. Um, it was released on the 775 socket, and it was based on the 19 nanometer Prescott architecture. So, as I mentioned before, this processor has one core and two threads, and it had a TDP of 155 watts. So, it can get pretty warm. Hence the big cooler, which you'll see later on in this video. Okay, so getting into the video, you can see I have the processor here, and basically I'm just going to put it into the socket, um, tighten it in, and put some thermal paste on, pretty standard procedures, uh, and you'll see the huge cooler that I'm going to put onto it in just a moment. Right, I should mention as well, this board, uh, and CPU for that matter, were out of a old HP W... 33 workstation i can't remember the exact name but it was an old hp workstation okay so anyway i put the cooler on and then i dig around for some memory uh this board takes ddr2 memory i think four gig is the max configuration that this board can take uh, i put two gigs in okay so once i had the memory properly seated I needed a video card of some sort because this motherboard does not have onboard video so I look at my closet and I find a GTX 760 um, probably not the best card to pair with this CPU but it's just what I had on hand once I had all the components seated properly on the motherboard everything plugged in motherboard connector CPU connector etc uh, I plugged in the cable for the power supply and then the system just booted up by itself uh, without me even pressing the power button now I don't know how that happened but regardless um, if you look at the monitor the computer is showing no signs of life whatsoever so my initial thought was that it could be a graphics card issue but i'm pretty sure this graphics card does work i have used it in the past before but nevertheless i did change out the graphics card for a asus gt710 um, that doesn't require any power connectors so it can't be a power supply issue so i swap out the card once I've swapped the graphics card I power on the system again as you can see using the power switch this time and still nothing is showing on the monitor so what I then decide to do is swap out the memory for a different set of RAM still using 2 gigs uh, I put them in and boot the system with the new memory now in um, the computer does post however it does come up with a bunch of errors saying that front USB is not connected and there's no front audio etc um, etc et but at this point I didn't really think this mattered and to be honest it doesn't the computer should still boot up into Windows regardless of this anyways I skip all the error messages and manage to get into the boot manager and uh, select my hard drive from the list of options uh, and the computer does boot into Windows, however, for some reason, it decided to go into an automatic repair. Uh, I don't know why, the hard drive does work, I've tried it before. I let it run its course, and then the computer just resets on me. So then I think back to them error messages that I was getting before. So I dug up the original USBs and the front panel uh, audio connector, plugged them into the board, and rebooted the system and this time I didn't get any errors 
Uh, however, the system still failed to boot into Windows. At this point, I was getting a little bit frustrated. So what I decided to do is pull out a new hard drive, plug that into the computer and install Windows 7 other than, rather than Windows 10. Uh, purely because Windows 7 is a lot less demanding than Windows 10. So I I also find my USB DVD reader, reader writer, uh, plug that into the board and off we go installing Windows. Usually when you install Windows it's a pretty easy process. However for some reason, it, I don't know why, maybe it just wasn't my day. Windows just wouldn't install onto this 320 gigabyte hard drive which I had plugged in so I then go find a 500 gigabyte hard drive, wipe it and then try and install Windows on there and luckily I did get Windows 7 to install onto this hard drive however I did not record this this next bit of footage is from about a week later because the Windows installation took a really really long time and I had to swap out the hard drive as as I mentioned before so I decided to carry this project on another time which was about a week later so anyways I did I did manage to get Windows installed onto the 500 gig hard drive I got all my software installed installed on it benchmarking tools uh, a few games but as you as you can see now probably uh, when I tried to boot up Windows 7 it just didn't want to boot it was stuck on the Windows logo I did try to troubleshoot it, I tried to launch Windows in safe mode, I wiped the BIOS, but it just wouldn't boot up. As a final effort to try and get this Pentium to boot into Windows, I put in an extra 2 gigabytes of RAM and plugged in another Windows 10 hard drive which I had had uh, in, in hopes that the computer would boot up. Unfortunately it didn't. At this point I just gave up because it was pretty apparent that the system did not want to boot into anything. I might try and get this processor running behind the scenes and possibly post a follow up video uh, if, if anyone's interested. But for now that's it. So if you enjoyed this pointless video for some reason, um, hit the like button and subscribe yeah.